G'day everybody. Here we go. Ready for a pour. I know I've been absent for a good couple of weeks, I think. So I'm quite excited to get crackalacking now. So I've got my Mad Artist resin and I'm doing a quarter of a cup here of part one. It's one to one ratio. For any of you newbies, somebody has asked me why are you mixing two to one or one, one to one. I'm just going by whatever the manufacturer puts on the bottle. And I've been using Mad Artist resin for a while now and I actually sell it in my store. I'm out at the moment, but hopefully I will get more by next week. I've ordered some more from the supplier, but um, they're just so busy going crazy with uh, with the orders so um, we are all waiting here we go one to one ratio and I'm going to use my jumbo stick to give it a good stir making sure that it mixes really well and doesn't leave any of the stringy kind of streaky bits so it'll take me probably about a minute to mix this so when it's all done i'll come back and we'll we'll uh, talk colors okay so my resin is now mixed i've got these cute little scoopy things which are great for small little cups um so and i will put them in the shop as well for you guys who can't get them they are uh, like little tiny little spoons so here we go um, I've got this is uh, an MDF board and uh, resin art already done on that I did that months and months ago I still have the tape underneath it but I'm not happy with it so I thought I might just um, do a second coat and show you how I do second coat on things so here we go just fill in some cups with the resin and let's see what we're going to get I definitely want to use a black so this is a midnight black don't want too much of it but I do want some of it and see how that's like a little spoon you can kind of even pick it up and kind of um, scrape it over and you've got a little bit in there if you need the tiny little bit but 10% is quite good it's uh, it'll work great and I think I've got more than 10% in there but it'll be fine uh, I've got my ruby red. This is uh, a transparent color. Gorgeous, gorgeous, deep, deep red. Uh, I'll put it in this one here. I've got a new gold. Um, this one is a powder, so I will put it in the cup first. I'll leave that for another paste. So I always put the gold in the gold I always put the powder in I'll put a little bit more first and then cover it with resin make a little paste out of it so I just go a little bit with resin in into it and then give it a stir and I will show you how that transforms once you put the resin in it the color will change it'll either go darker or lighter um, depending on the actual pigment but so you've got a nice paste there now make sure I pick up everything from the bottom and now it's just like using a paste so now I've made the paste I'm going to add some more of this clear resin and continue with the stirring just to give it that nice kind of a mix you don't want unmixed resin unmixed pigment in your resin because um, it won't set properly so you got to make sure that you do that right and this is actually quite a nice gold this is a new gold I'm going to be putting it in the store very shortly just going to add a little bit actually I won't I'll leave it as is put it here and um, then I've got another gold which is also powder but I've mixed it with some binder just to see what it will look like this is quite a, 
a deep kind of gold 10% going in there that is not 10% I'm going to add some more so I just eyeball things like if you want to you can measure things weigh things but even like weighing things could be a little bit diff difficult so I think you would want to go through by volume because some pigments weigh more than others so you might get more or less so go by volume I think that would be your best option and let's mix this one now and see this is another new gold which is also a powder so you can see oh that just mixed beautifully because I already made that paste thing so you can see the difference between the two okay so let's see if it's going to give me some really cool effects and I was going to use because I've got a little bit over here you probably can't see it a bit of um, a shimmery just a shimmery paste uh, powder so I'm going to possibly add some of that as well just a little bit of it in a separate cup so here's my midnight black and that's just what it is it's a black black like a jet black and I've got my ruby red which is one of my mixes it's quite gorgeous it turns into like a really deep deep magenta if you want a really true red by La Res, then sassy red is the pigment for you and it's quite opaque as well this one is transparent but I want some transparency here because I'm doing a second layer and when you're doing a second layer if you want to show the layer underneath it you really need to use some transparent colors okay so here they are now let's go with the sun catcher it's a really pretty pretty shimmery powder be careful because it's super fine and it will fly everywhere this is a real bugger to fill and put into jars and there's like little shimmery bits flying everywhere so I don't know if you can see this but I will try and show you up close let me just see you've got to kind of bend down <laughs> and watch the difference now when you pour the clear resin how it changes and you get this beautiful golden sunshine in there oops sorry got a bit too close so I'm making sure again to get all of that from down the bottom the groovy bits you want to get get it all out like so and then now that I made the paste now I can add a little bit more of this clear and I will keep some clear because I want to preserve some of the areas that I really like okay then if you can kind of catch that golden I call it sunshine coming out of there but it's uh, just amazing very transparent okay okay we're ready to go now I'm going to put some of this clear just along here I might even lose it in the process but I'm certainly going to try and preserve it um, also a lot of people ask about you know what do you do how do you prepare your for the second layer and what I do guys is I just clean the whole surface with uh, alcohol wipe because it resin attracts uh, attracts dust and you'll get a lot of dust there if it's been sitting for a while so what you do is you just clean it with alcohol and then it's fine I never ever sanded anything because um, resin will stick to resin really really well oh my god this is just so gorgeous okay let's go Um, tricky part now where to start what to do okay so we're just gonna wing it I don't have a specific idea in mind what I want to do but I've got these kind of things going that way so I might go across this time just to make it a little bit interesting 
this does look opaque but it's not it's uh, quite transparent and once I start moving it it will definitely show that transparency I like to put some of this beautiful sun catcher right there which is a powder and an absolutely gorgeous one and I want to go along the red as well you can see that that sun catcher mixed with red it'll just turn to gold it's just stunning don't know if you can see it I'm going to try and zoom it in when I'm actually doing the the pour the uh, editing can't talk today oh, I'm just really excited and this is another thing I wanted to tell you for anybody interested um, if you're not in the group uh, you won't, probably won't know that there is an, a resin art pouring retreat happening on the 20th of July next year in Seabrook Texas and I was invited to be the featured artist there and I'm supplying all the um, pigments so that will be super exciting I'm, I'm really really excited to to attend and to teach so it's going to be one week and uh, everybody's invited so I'm not sure about the numbers or anything um, because we can only facilitate for uh, so many people but uh, first in best dressed as they say and I will put in some information uh, in the comments below so that you guys can can have a look and contact uh, Ju Harvey she is the organizer her and her team are working working very hard to have everything prepared and I was told that there will be you know food and fun and you know it's going to be just awesome Aus awesome that's a new saying for Aussie awesome awesome <laughs> So here we go this is that other different gold you can see it's a it's a, a brighter gold the other one is a deeper gold and this one is a brighter gold in a powder form for people who like so that's looking gorgeous already awesome okay now let's go with this um, amazing sun catcher you can find it in the Lorez store I'm just going along. Neighbor's dog's gone bananas. It's gonna start my dogs up. I'm just going like so. Now let's see what we can do. Like I don't even know if I want to do too much moving, but we do want to get some, you know, show some of this underneath. So we do need to create some movement. Um, I've got a new heat gun which was sent to me very very nice of the company who sent it to me um, it was a freebie so let's see how it works it's the first time I'm ever going to use it and well not, I've used it I've never used it so it's the first time obviously um, so I try, try to save it a little bit by putting this um, just a, a, a zip ziplock bag over it and see if it'll work if not I'm just going to have to Okay, so that's like a lower setting, and I've got the the heat control up here, which is pretty cool. Personally, I like the settings to be up here because I can use one hand and I just use my thumb. Um, this is a little bit harder for me to use, but um, it's pretty cool. It's got two speeds. Let's go. So, okay, we had, yep, 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 you can see the depth there where the tr super transparent yet shimmery 
sun catcher went into but I will add a little bit more there just go over it a bit oops maybe a little bit more okay do like it I like the gold I like the lighter gold the brighter gold it's actually quite amazing let's go along here do something down here a pour doesn't have to be just plonk it on there and go with it the pour can be artistic you can create things and um, and have fun with it so I am super excited about Texas I went to America four times but I have um, never been to Texas so that's going to be a first for me and um, definitely doing art teaching people can ask questions about techniques or anything really um, anybody who needs as well this is something that uh, I can offer some motivational um, talks with me um, I am an art therapist so I've studied psychology and uh, also running a business on my own you know I can help people with that as well so it's it's uh, I think it's going to be a very productive super productive event and I'd like to meet you all in person how good will that be of course because I live so far away I can't come and visit every year but we'll see how we go it'd be good uh, not to miss out on this kind of thing I don't know where I'm going with this guys I'm just uh, super excited and the painting is just uh, pretty much telling the story I'm just following the you know the um, where it's telling me to go I think I'm gonna mix a little bit more of this uh, sun catcher I absolutely adore it and I don't use it very often which I should I just try to you know show some new colors that I have but some of these oldies are just um, amazing look at that so I am going to start I'm going to introduce um, a new line of pigments which are going to be all like this sun catcher and the line is going to be gold glitz and glamour so keep an eye on, on the shop for that one keep an eye on the videos because I will be introducing it properly but um, the sun catcher is going to be part of it of that line and it's going to be a, the star of the line I think because it's just so amazing because you can even do this like put a little dot in there and it just creates like a little gem look at that it's just um, stunning and in black that's what it looks like there it's uh, yeah just love it love it love it love it okay now let's go let's get a little bit of this I'm gonna get a little bit serious now <laughs> serious are you serious okay let's try and get a little bit serious and get um, some heat involved this is just clear going through there For any of you who are going to the retreat, write down your questions because I know what it's like when you're there, you get all excited about doing artwork and then you, you forget about what you want to ask. So write it all down, put it in your phone and then um, you won't have a problem remembering and getting all the information that you need. Okay. So I've done that now. Let's try maybe getting some more gold in there. I might get some more of this deeper colored gold. And just go here, squeeze this. Oops, that broke. Okay, maybe don't squeeze too hard. I don't know my own strength sometimes. I have a lot of this gold, so might as well use it. Gold and red. And purple and black go really really super well together I 
okay maybe a little bit over here it's Sunday here in Australia and everybody's it's a beautiful day so all the neighbors are out you, you can hear some laughing and um, carrying on that's just my neighbors kids you know playing doing their thing lots of gold in there don't want to put too much gold need more black and more red and then we're gonna get the heat happening black and red are, and gold just uh, a classic sexy combination I think you just um, can't go wrong right oh yeah and down here a little bit geez I hope this is still recording I haven't had a chance to look up I bought myself a new camera you just I uh, haven't had a chance to get it charged and figure it out okay so this is looking for them a little bit over here if I can get it out be great come on so if it starts to give me trouble I just kind of lean the cup onto the board and just drag it and that's how it uh, kind of pulls the pigment out right so that's done and you're still on yay red 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 ruby red going to put some in the in between the the black here having trouble using this so I'll just go pour it in there want that filled in nicely it's all gonna move so this is great about resin because you can leave it as is you don't oh my god look at that but you don't have to you can still use the heat gun or the the hair dryer to get some different effects so I'm filling that one in I want all that red in there this is ruby red and might get some more of that red in here so I've got a little bit of clear left so what I'm doing is uh, mixing up some more red however I'm not going to add any to it I'm just going to make it nice and transparent okay so you can you can do that just make a different shade so I might just pop that in here Get around around this black I'm just letting it do its own thing with a little bit of control and just going to go like that let it just make those little streaky bits which look, which look really messy but you'll see that once I get this gorgeous which I will add more resin to it in a second sun catcher it will change all of that look at that so I'm going to just fill that in with this and let it go over that red and wherever it sort of uh, blends in with the red you get a different shade of that gold from the sun catcher pigments may just help it along a little bit a bit there and just kind of drag it up over a little bit I've got a little bit of it left so I'll preserve that actually I'm gonna get some here go dot like so right Got some more of this gold, this lighter gold. 
which I might just add here. Maybe even here a little bit. Create another little area. Now I've got that black. I'm just going to add some more of the clear resin into it. So it's going to be a slightly transparent black. Give it a mix. And add it in the middle here. Just like that. Okay. And I think I might fill this one in with the black as well. This one actually, this bit here doesn't even have any clear. It's just really dry. So that's good it's a good thing so I can put my black there now okay pretty cool I'm happy with that but I just want to do a little line of black just like that okay now I have a tiny teeny wee bit of the sun catcher left as you could see I didn't add any more pigment to it I just kept adding the um, the resin the clear resin and mixing it mixing it in properly so that it's all mixed in and then it's just a little bit diluted as we would say so I need some here Maybe even a little bit over here. Oops, there was a blob there. Doesn't matter. We're good with that. So at this stage, you've got a bit of black in there because I messed it up, but that's okay. Right. Oops, I definitely want a little bit of it here. Maybe one in the middle. Try to get everything out of your supplies, you know. There. So even that tiny little bit helps. So that's that. Oh my God, that is brilliant. I just don't want to change that at all. Now. We can do something fun here. We all know I love my lines. I like to pull them like this and just create some um, character, you know. And it also helps to blend these um, the pigments so they don't look like they've just been placed there you're kind of helping them to blend with the with the other pigments this is just amazing because you can actually see through that I'm going to do the same with this one because I quite like that effect and that's what you do you learn as you go I'm forever learning new tricks This would be an amazing way to make like a um, kind of like a fire effect just by pulling pulling the pigments through with with your a stick or some pointy kind of uh, instrument. This is quite amazing right here because you can see right through two two dimensional three dimensional actually two layers three dimensional. I could play like this until this thing sets <laughs> um, but I do want to get some oh, actually I, I do like that
these effects are super amazing for close-ups you know you have a closer look and and uh, just stunning Sometimes they won't. Oh, look at that. That is maze balls. The effects, the the depth is just super, super amazing. Love it. Try that one there. Sometimes you don't want to do too much to it, you know. Too much is not good. Just picking up a little bit, just need some of that sunshine in here, as I call it. Sun catcher. And a little bit of that gold. Just pull that in like that. Now one that sets this here is just like cray cray crazy. Didn't like that so I'm fixing that, that bit up right now. Making it something different. Does look like a bit of a fire happening, a bit of a flame. And that's how I feel. I am on fire. Look at that. If it stays like that, it will be so awesome. So I had a different plan. I was going to keep using this uh, torch and everything, but I'm quite um, happy with the way the way this is kind of uh, panned out to to be the story it's telling me. Um, super happy super super happy just going to give it a little torch over just to kill those bubbles i just love it as it is i'm going to try and give it a little bit of torch what do you reckon let's do it Okay, let's do it. Let's put the torch more like this. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. I just lowered it to a lower kind of speed. I'm not sure what heat it's giving me. It's not too hot. And what I'm doing is just going up and down like this now to just to open the areas up a little bit. This is this is how you do it. And also the more heat you put in there, the more these pigments will react like that gold is just giving me some really amazing, amazing bubble kind of uh, underwater bubble effects so here just um, continuing with the heat gun <coughs> not the torch the heat gun sometimes when I'm uh, working I get you know I don't really think about what I'm saying um, you know in another world but uh, just pushing these the heat into the resin which is um, creating a reaction between the pigments and uh, creating effects okay so as I was doing that I noticed that I don't like that area and whatever I've got left over in here which is a little bit of this gold I can fix that now and then give it some more heat and I can even put some in the center there. Just to kind of lift it a little bit. Because that's what you want. You don't want to have it too 
straight or too deliberate or too flat. Even a tiny little line like that, it just makes a huge difference, you know. Maybe I can scoop up a little bit more of this red, maybe. Maybe, baby. And just... Okay, so now when I give it that tiny little bit of that um, sun catcher, pop it in there and pull that through like that. There's always enough left to see something over here i don't like that it, to me it's just too too simple too flat okay clean hands again it's still on just checking and let's go Some more manipulating with the heat gun, just pushing the heat onto that uh, area there to, to open it up. The more you heat the resin, the quicker it sets, but uh, I find that I can do it for well over an hour. You want cells, that's what you do. You pull, pull a color over another color. This is an opaque, which is pulled over the transparent. It works both ways, you know. Some people say you gotta, you gotta um, push the transparent over the the um, opaque color, but it works both ways really. It just depends on how you manipulate it. Got some nice cells here that I want to open up. See that? That's how you open them up and make them into big cells. And more, more heat. Just uh, continuing with the manipulation with the heat gun, pushing from the side. When you are applying heat over the top, um, it will open up that area. If you have cells there, it will open up the cells and make them bigger. If you have the, the lace in there, it will make them appear bigger. So you just be gentle with it and um, be, be in control you can always pull back you know you don't hold the heat in one spot for too long because you will burn your resin and uh, then you will definitely need to put another coat over it and as you can see already this piece is um, it's, it's uh, developing into a more of a softer more subtle painting <coughs> kind of easier to look at what else? and I'm just showing there that I'm uh, pushing that gold and that red with the black and I'm kind of blending them together making them merge and make love to each other and just uh, create some awesome awesome stuff there and you may have noticed that on the right there there's a little CD which I had uh, in the mean you know meantime painted i will do a separate video for that so keep an eye on that it's a, it's a really cool kind of flame effect so keep an eye on that okay guys so you can see completely you're still on <laughs> just checking again completely transformed into more of a it there's, it's got a lot of stuff in it, but it is not as busy, you know, it's uh, it's more of a um, Softer look even though it's got these little veins and okay. I'll bring it down to show you enough talking I can talk until tomorrow, but um, I'll bring it down so you can see how gorgeous this is. Okay, just uh, give me a sec Okay, let's start at the bottom There's that sun catcher you can see it peeking through and Look at that, it's like a 
fire happening down there wanted to show these gorgeous bubbly kind of looking cells and if you look sideways see you can see it's all flat and uh, different kinds of gold there sorry about my uh, phone showing in the in the in the video but see all of those kind of uh, veiny cells popping out that gold and that clear and then the gold and the black here and the black and the clear rather and all the craziness that's happening in there and all that shimmery shimmery sun catcher and the depth amazing okay so there you have it well that's it for this one i hope you enjoyed it hope you liked it please like the video share if you would like and uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and uh, I will see you in another video. Bye for now.